Almost ready for the tip-off tonight between the Knicks and the Hogs. Coaches Bob Weiss in his second year in Atlanta on the right, Pat Riley in his first year in New York on the left. Not sure that they can handle the pressure. Dominique Wilkins in the first minute of action here at the end. Patrick Ewan against Rasmussen. And over the double team help from Dominique Wilkins. And it looks like Dominique will be charged with the foul, so Patrick will have a chance at a three-point play. Nice, beautiful look by Charles Oakley to the cutter, Patrick Ewing. That's an athletic Patrick Ewing. Now Charles Oakley, when he gets the ball. Patrick Ewing with the spin move and the nice touch off the glass. He has four. I'll tell you, the Hawks are going to have a big night, a hard night, if they just let Patrick catch the ball right in there and operate with single. Inside to Willis. Ewing picking him up on the defensive end that end, that time. Hawks have to be aware of him. By far been the best bench player for New York this year as Ewing drops down the baby jumper in the paint. Inside for Atlanta, Beautiful. Dominique with the power move. Paul Graham cut the next lead to six points after that trip to the line. Ewing with the power move in the paint over Goncak. Volkoff and the Hawks swinging it around for Dominique Wilkins to do a one-on-one -on -one move against his younger brother. Gerald with the good defense, but Dominique with the last move and the last word, and Gerald was whistled for a foul, and he doesn't like that, and he gets charged with a technical. Well, looked like Dominique was doing a little dance routine. Wilkins working against Mason. Oh, man, good move. He drew the double team, and then he went right by it, Michael. McDaniel looking for Ewing. Guarded by Willis and drawing the double team help from Wilkins, but Willis will be charged with the foul. Down to get that rebound. That's how aggressive this rebounding team is. Dominique with the long range. Hawks better, or certainly hoping so. That win last Friday that they pulled out in Portland in double overtime was just all the way jump shot. Take it right in and get another foul on easy basket. Wilkins off the inbounds pass, knocked it down. And the Hawks will have a chance at a fast break point, but Ewing with the big denial. Open it up by shooting a few outside jump shots. And you saw Stacy Augman take a seat as Ewing knocks down the turnaround J off the left baseline. Looking for Dominique inside. Dominique will go over three nicks and Beautiful. score. <laughs> with it, but it's Gerald Wilkins who secures it. Stops, does not pop, but Ewing, the high flying <laughs> Patrick Ewing. Wilkins with the strong move against Brian Quinnett and scores, and now we'll have a chance at a three-point play. Beautiful move by Dominique, realizing he has a young guy that probably can't guard him. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Oh, Beautiful. man. With his 27th point of the contest, Brian Quinnett with the three-one opportunity. Knocked away by Dominique. Look out, ladies and gentlemen, because it's showtime. Anticipation was building as Dominique chooses from his arsenal a two-hand Tomahawk dunk. Let's look at how an all-star player can lift his team and carry them on his back. Blair Rasmussen with the bound. Dominique in a two-on-three situation. He had no oh, chance with it, but he didn't need it. Mark Jackson with the spin move. Kicks it back out to Ewing. Oh, man. Got an easy rebound. Willis has 15 rebounds. He leads the league, averaging more than 17 a game. Dominique Wilkins with a great spin move, but Quinnette tried to hang with him, but he had to foul to do it. Jumper off the mark for the next McDaniel with the offensive glass. Over to Ewing, who goes strong. Can't jam, but he still can score. And he has a few words for his challengers after the bucket. Well, Xavier McDaniel looked up the all pack and another steal for Chiefs. All-time steal leader in the NBA. Dominique for a three-point try. Oh, he gets the roll, and it could be a four-point play. Atlanta leads it by five at the moment. Dominique is just on fire, looking for his 38th point of the game. And he gets it. And that jump hook gave the Hawks a 10-point lead, but now it's back to eight, thanks to Ewing's turnaround jumper. Ewing has 34 points for the game. Dominique is looking for his 39th and 40th. Oh, oh. my goodness. Beautiful finger roll. Fundamental execution, too. Going underneath his brother Gerald's arm. Is 57. Right now he has 42. Now making it a six point total. 43 points for Dominique. Now 44. McDaniel will defend the inbounds pass. Volkoff looking for Dominique. He finds him. Final seconds tick away. Dominique working against his younger brother, and he gets the roll. 
And a timeout call by Riley in the next. Kind of a wild shot by Dominique from the way he's been going tonight. Why not? Well, I don't know what, how Dominique got this shot to go, but this is why you want the ball in the hands of a creative player. And here he creates them. Knicks haven't done a very good job of getting the ball inside to Pat Ewing, but here it goes now. Ewing gets Willis in the air and scores. Hogs will have a fresh 24. Mo over to Dominique, guarded by Gerald. Anthony comes to help out on the double team, and Dominique feeds Mo Cheeks, who feeds the hoop. Oakley into the lineup for Wilkins. They get 48. Looking inside to try to get it to Dominique, who's guarded by Xavier McDaniel. Dominique trying to take it and draws the foul. Dominique Steele just getting better at getting fouls. That time he sees Pat Ewing kind of ties it right now at 121. And his 50th point gives the Hawks a one point lead. Four points in his career. The Hawks are five and two when he's reached the 50 point mark. Now that's the good defensive job by Willis. Oh man, oh man. But an even better offensive move by Pat Ewan. You figure you push the guy away from the block, no and he faces up, goes to the middle. That's, Dominique with it against McDaniel. Oh, losing the dribble. Now losing control. Mo cheeks over to Emil to try to win it. Oh, and he's way short on the jumper. Dominique lost the dribble, and the Hawks lost out on a chance to win this game. So they will, we will go to a second overtime. The Hawks want to play the pick and roll by forcing the guard to go baseline with Rasmussen giving support. What happens is Stacey Augman is late coming across to pick up Pat Ewing, allowing Pat to go right down the middle for the dunk. Kevin Willis and the Hawks, but Pat Ewing just too much tonight. Knicks used a 9-2 run to force the first overtime as Ewing follows with authority. And the, right now, they're on an 11 to nothing run. Dominic Wilkins will finish with 52 points. Willis finishing with 20 rebounds, and that's just about the only bright spot. They had a good play, but in the end, they could not get it done against Pat Riley's Knicks.